Greetings from Singapore. Um, it's probably 2.30 in the morning. I just flew in here from Zurich and I'm experiencing some jet lag. Um, I've been good friends with insomnia at different times in my life. Um, and I've always found it to be a good time when I can meditate <laughs> or play the piano, but they won't let me play it in the lobby right now. So, um, what was coming to me when I was just meditating was how valuable it is to be able to turn tenderly towards oneself, especially when we've made mistakes and especially when we feel like we've really fucked up and especially when we're delving into our own shadow. Um, and I don't know about you, but uh, this past week, there's been a lot of twists and turns and, and new openings in consciousness, but some of it has been, has required me to look at the other side of things. Um, to own, for example, you know, I'm not just an empath. I, I also am a narcissist. We all are. That, that we all contain all of everything inside of us. And I love how um, uh, Michael Wood in the presence process, he always says the evolution of going from victim into victor. victor. And, and part of that process is to be able to, to sit with the old pain that's still in our system. And in a, in a, as an extension, to sit with anything that we, that's dark, that we haven't let ourselves look at, that, that we were scared to look at, that we refuse to look at. And when we allow ourselves to feel what we ordinarily would turn away from, judge, manipulate, in that ability to be with it and feel it, all this locked up energy just turns into a life force. Um, I was just talking with someone the other day and she said, you know, someone with your history of, of anorexia and bulimia and, um, and, and drug addiction, like the amount of life force that you have, you know, like that, that's a big testament. And I, it really made me consider, because I've had a few people ask, like, how do you have all this energy? And, and, and part of it has been that gnarly work of, okay, it, I feel like I'm going to die, but I'm going to sit with these pieces that are just my pain body. So what I find though still comes up for me and I'm sharing it, especially if you, if there was any history of, of emotional abuse or physical abuse when you were, when you were really young, um, there may be a pattern in you where you just turn on yourself so quickly and just decide that you're really bad. And so that the moment when you feel like you've done something wrong, it's not just a normal feeling of like, oh, I fucked up. And it, it, it can feel so much even bigger than that. Like I know that I'll get a feeling of a huge dread in my system. And it's just like I'm, I'm waiting to get punished. And, and in some ways I'm, I'm expecting to get punished. And, and a really important rewiring is because we're going to make mistakes until we're not in this body. And then we zoom into the next adventure and I'm sure there's going to be some special things happening over there is that, that we can make mistakes. Like we're allowed to make mistakes. You know, we can do our damnedest, but we're going to make some mistakes and, and that we can accept responsibility, but we don't have to destroy ourselves over it. And I keep finding the solution no matter what's going on is, oh, I just need to turn to myself and give myself a hug. I just need to be tender. All That's all I really want. And then I look at uh, when I have clients or even friends who are just having meltdowns, I'm like, oh, you just need a hug. So that's really my message to you at 2.30ish AM in Singapore in my white hotel robe um, is just how valuable it is to, to be able to sit with those really deep places when we're ready, but also that to turn towards ourselves tenderly, 
that's going to help stabilize those parts of us that are in fear and terror, those really old parts that feel wrong, that feel bad, the shame, the shame. And so that we can just really start to tell ourselves, yep, it's always changing. We're the entire universe shape-shifting and somehow we're okay. Somehow we are okay. <laughs>